Hi, uh, I'm at Lake Apopka North Shore Wildlife Drive, and I've found in nature a perfect little, you know, which is that lesson, this or that lesson. So let's take a look and figure out the difference between a snowy egret and a juvenile little blue heron. Okay, so here we have a snowy egret. And here we have a juvenile little blue heron. They look very similar. They both have this long S-shaped neck. Are you gonna come right over here? <gasps> yes. And white fluffy feathers. Now here's the key. The snowy egret, there you go, black beak with a little bit of a yellow going to the eye. It also has black legs and yellow feet, so you can see them as it walks through. They look a lot alike, so here you go. Now we're panning over to the juvenile little blue heron. Looks very, very similar. But here's the key. See that beak? It's primarily black only on the tip, and the adult little blue heron also has... Oh, delicious fish. A darker blue tip on the end. They also have that little yellowish by the eye, but their entire beak is not black. Next, if you look at the legs, and maybe you'll pick them up, they're sort of a greenish yellow light color, but they're definitely not black. So when you see these two, they look alike, they act alike but they're actually different species. So if you keep an eye out, you'll be able to tell the difference. Snow egret. Mm -hmm. Juvenile little blue heron. Mm -hmm. Yikes, sorry.